Hi, we're going to set up iOS printing with Papercut, so let's get started. So on the left here I've got my um, Mac server. Um, nothing special about it being a server, it's just running Mac OS X 10.11 in this case. Um, and then on the right here we've got a, a mirror of um, what's happening on the, the iPhone screen, so you can see both halves there. In this case, on the left, um, the application server is running on the, the same Mac server, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a secondary server, um, totally up to you. Um, at this point, we don't have any printers listed in Papercut, so the first thing is to get those showing up in Papercut. Uh, we go into printers and scanners. We can see both of those are added to the system, so that's good. Next step is to go into applications, Papercut NG, Control Printer Monitoring command, and you'll be asked for your admin password. You then uh, modify the sandbox configuration just to relax that, and then you'll see a list of your printers. So in this case, we're going to say E for Enable for Gromit, and E for Enable for Sean as well. And then at this point, we should be able to see the printer show up in Papercut. Cool. Um, at this point, let's just make sure that printing from the actual server itself works. Um, so we're just going to go to a random page, print, and we can pick Sean. Let's print. Let's take a look if that went through. Okay, yep, yeah, I can see our, our test job there went through. All good. So at this point, we can now um, look at making sure the printer is shared to the iOS devices. So back in the printers and scanners, make sure that both of those printers are set to share this printer on the network. So I'm just going to do that for both of those. And now at this point, we're going to flip over to the iOS side and make sure that we can actually see the printer from the iOS device. So click on the little up arrow at the bottom of the a web page or notes or anything like that and then select print from the list. At this point you should be able to browse so I've actually recently printed the grommet um, and you can see Sean on there as well so that's good. Next step is to make sure that we've got the iOS web clip installed so this isn't an actual Apple application uh, available on the App Store. It's actually a little web clip that's served up from the application server. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open a new tab and go to the application server IP address, colon 9191 slash iOS slash install. When you go to that, and it's going to ask you if you want to install um, the printing profile. So I'm going to say yes, I'm going to install that. It's going to ask for my top secret passcode. Then install, and install again. And now my printing profile is installed. So I can say done to that. And at this point, when I go back to my home screen, you'll see the little printing icon listed up there. So let's send a test print job. So I'm going to send this one, I say print. I'm going to send this one to Gromit in this case. Printing at the top. And then I'm going to go back into the printing app. Log on with my Papercut user account. So, again, my top secret password here. And you'll see the job at the top is in progress. And sent. So that should now mean that that job has been completed. So we can go back into the printer's view, take a look at Gromit, and we should see job log. Yep, there we go, 640. That's the job that we just sent through. Um, now, if we're getting really fancy, we can do um, shared account pop-ups just to show you what that's like on iOS as well. So if you go into users, I'm going to set myself up to use the, um, the shared account pop-up. 
just going to leave the defaults there and apply that to my account. So now my Tim account is, is set to use a shared account pop-up. So if I'm going to go back into the iOS side, I'm going to print the same web page again. Print, I'm going to use Sean in this case. Press print. And now I hop back over into the printing app. And I'll now get my print job notification where I can select my shared accounts if I need to. So in this case, I'm going to say window lean and press print. So then if we go back into the printers tab, you should be able to see a job under Sean now under the job log, and it was charged to Wendolin. So everything's working there great. So a couple of little steps just in case um, you run into issues. Troubleshooting things, so if you can't see the printer, um, when you go into the web page or one of the apps and you try and print and you can't see it listed, just make sure that you're on the same subnet as the, as the server. So um, especially on iOS, just go into the Wi-Fi network that you're connected to and check the IP address. Check that it's on the same subnet as the, the server hosting the queues. If you do see um, jobs marked or getting tracked as mobile, user mobile that is, um, basically what's happening is iOS sends all jobs owned by the user mobile. So just check in Papercut, go into the mobile user and then make sure that that user is marked as unauthenticated enabling pop-up authentication, so you want to have that checked. Um, otherwise, if you're still seeing issues and both of those look good, the other thing to make sure you have a look at is under the log screen and then application log. So you might see some errors here if, if somebody's not um, got the printing web clip installed. Um, for instance, here's, here's one I prepared earlier. Um, this one in this case says cancelling print job um, with the title of the web page printed by the user mobile because the user didn't respond to the authentication request. So that's normally um, somebody sent the print job, so we know it's from a user mobile, which is iOS, um, but because they're not running the iOS web clip, we can't link it to an actual username. So check to see if that person is, is using the, uh, the iOS web clip. Feel free to have a go at setting up iOS printing. If you run into any issues, uh, just go across to our website, papercut.com, and then you can type in in the top right hand corner of the search box um, any search terms there pretty much. So iOS printing will show up all of the iOS printing um, knowledge base articles and, and manual pages as well. Thanks. <laughs>